highlight because look, I have it too. See, I mean, it's like intentional though. Richard, no. you do not have a highlight. No, hers. Hey guys, welcome to the April 2021 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself, my mother, and my husband try everything in this month's keto crate. Don't forget to stick around to the end of this video to see if you are the winner of your very own April keto crate, or if you don't feel like waiting and you just want a crate right now, go ahead and use the link in the description box below for a discount on your very first keto crate. Okay guys, so this month's crate was like a little interesting to me because a lot of the ingredients well some of the products i'd never heard of before and i was like oh i had been wanting to try that right but then some of them i was looking at the ingredients and i was like there is straight up sugar in these things oh, like man. sugar you know and i you know granted it's all keto and it all like fits your macro sort of thing but i'm like sugar though where you know but regardless i'm excited to try all the stuff but i am not excited do you know why because this month they included two not one, Richard, but oh two God. meat sticks, and I am not here for it, right? We like, I was all are here for no, it. none of us are here for these meat sticks, right? So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. Richard, which one do you want to try first? There is the mm. Think Jerky Original, mm -hmm. or there is the Real Garlic and Herb. Mm. Mm. Let me see, I have to hold them up so instant regret. Oh, I shouldn't oh, have yes. asked them to choose, yes, because you I shouldn't have asked them to choose. I think. Let's go think. Okay. Let's <laughs> he thinks he's being clever because this says think uh, jerky here. Now, see, granted, I would have also chose think first because it is original. So I'll do like original first and then I'll do the like garlic her and herb Ooh, next. So flavor. That's where the, so no, it's the flavor. Same. Thank you very much. So yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, think mm. I can already okay. smell the aroma. No, because it's original. <laughs> There's nothing to smell. It smells, the original it smells like today. an original it's meat thing. stick. Okay, guys, it's just an original meat stick. Yeah. Like, it just looks like a meat stick. Okay, let's go. The casing is really hard, so it's more of a chew than a traditional, like. Which, a... honestly, I really did enjoy. I was like, ooh, that's a chew right there. Yes. No, I mean, like, still tier three. Like, I would never choose to be like, hey, like, I want a meat stick over anything else. But if there were a big pile of meat sticks, mm -hmm. I would go for this one. I'm like, oh, this one, I remember I like this one. Because yeah. there are just some meat sticks that I know I have it's not like. liked. too chewy for me, not juicy enough, but it's still a two. Yeah, mm. it's a two but for me I, as well. I would prefer, like, a juicier. Yep. And he could have those, I'm and I will moist, take the I'm tougher, yeah. So this one is uh, real garlic and herb, so I'm definitely looking for a difference in flavor, okay. right? This yeah, should yeah, definitely yeah. taste like... Maybe texture as well. Well, yeah, Richard Ooh. would enjoy that. I wouldn't mind the same texture, because like I said, yeah, that I wasn't bad. That is perfect. tougher and chewier, but that's how I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like so I going to say. Okay. Literally, uh, your literally my jam. Mm -hmm. What does this taste Ooh, like? It does okay. look moist. Garlic. Mm, stop saying that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Mm, this tastes like pepperoni. Mm -hmm. It tastes like pepperoni. Yeah. yeah I yeah. have to agree. Because like the garlic, yeah. the herbs, probably some oregano in there. Like that. Mm. Th that tastes like classic oregano. pizza topping. Oregano. And then the paper. <laughs> it's origami. Oh my God. It tastes like garlic, oregano, like. Mm. All of those classic pizza flavors, mm -hmm. so that immediately makes me think of pepperoni. Still tier three because I will just never prefer it. But look, if those two meat sticks were the last thing between me and death, I would not die. Okay, like I could eat those, you know. So really, I'm just still saying. a little too tough of a chew for me. It was, but it's better than. I'm, that's all right with me. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's know. still a two. Gives my dentures a workout. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Next, okay, we're having field trip crispy cuts, mm -hmm. pork rinds. So like I said, I already know we like these. We've had these mm -hmm. plenty of times before, um, but also didn't realize second ingredient, cane sugar. But it's like, you know, it's in such small amounts. This whole bag is only two net carbs. So oh, yeah. still definitely fits your macros. But if you're just like an ingredient person, exactly. you're gonna yeah, take so note right. of it. Yeah, yeah you're saying, gonna like, take note so of it. So you're just immediately gonna put it right back down. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, these are thick, puffy, puffy crunches Ooh. here. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Get me one of these it's a nice, nice okay. traditional. Pork, Mom, viscous. Pork you can't use that everywhere. Okay. okay, so it definitely has like a orange coat on it. You can mm. tell it's covered in lots of flavor dust. Exactly. Let's go. Okay. Flavor dust. Definitely hot. Oh yeah. Do you get any sweet in there? No. Me neither. Taste of the chip. I mean, I like little. that because this basically reminds me of like the hot and spicy pork rinds mm -hmm. from Meyer. Like it's just hot, you know? 
I like hot. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of hot. Saying that, and that's the only reason I'm not a fan of that. Now mm -hmm. the texture, it felt mm -hmm. good. Why do I watch? So yes, exactly. So the texture was well. Yes. But the I texture was well. But I just didn't like the flavor because it's too spicy. The, that's not the proper word. <laughs> yeah, these these are spicy. I like that. They're um, a tier two for me. Mm -hmm. Like maybe tier two minus tier three, only because well. I'm always reaching for something sweet over savory you know even spicy i'm always reaching for something sweet but if i had to go for savory i really like these so nice. tier two and a half okay next we have scudda scuda you remember we tried uh -oh. to scuda. pronounce these scuda. Uh -oh. yeah scuda we, we're gonna say scuda chili okay here mom read this chili arable <laughs> i don't know you're not don't look to me because i don't know i was like what are these words i was oh like to a chili mango jango chili maple jango chili maple jango chili herbal all right you better say yeah, that yeah, no you better say <laughs> something yeah. rip it okay good all right got it got it got it got it we figured it out okay more than just the name okay i don't think we figured out no, the name really yeah. <laughs> i really don't think oh, oh, oh gosh oh lost one so yeah, I don't know if these are supposed to be hot, if they're gonna be sweet, you know, like well, I have no idea. Chili, well, yeah, chili but then maple. Exactly. No. Okay, let's go. Basically, here we go. Maple and chili bowl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. I tasted sweet, like maple, then I tasted like hot, like chili, like I don't need that. That's, yeah, that might be with an irritable. Ir yeah, I'm like no. The second I ate it, I got a whoof of maple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tastes chili. That's exactly so like, what it was. Like it was the maple all up in here, so but you then want maple the chili. Syrup in your chili. Yeah, that's something to say. Like <laughs> certain sweet and spicy things just don't go together, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I agree, but they're not horrible. I mean, I'm like, yeah, they're not. When am I tasting? I mean, I'm yeah. not sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have no These are a tier three and a half for me. I really don't know if I would really? give them back, but I'm just definitely not reaching. Like, like oh, Scooter okay. has cool original. Enough. They have regular uh, pumpkin seeds that I really, really like. I would choose a lots of other flavors before I chose this one. Ooh, four, tier even. four. Oh, yeah, wow. like. Well, like I don't ever think I'll eat those again. Have, me neither. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm, I'm just thinking about like. That, I mean, okay, but I'm going free. by taste. I would say two and a half. No, I mean, tastes are still three for me, yeah, but I mean, practicality of would I ever eat these again? Three and a half. Yeah. I agree. Okay, next, something that I know we've had before, the Proudly Pure Parmesan <gasps> Crisps, Ooh. but you're going to be excited because this flavor is bacon. <gasps> yeah, it yeah. is. Parmesan bacon. Yeah, like like Parmesan Crisps mm, with the flavor that. of I'm bacon. Do the Richard Clap on that. Oh my That's gosh. Nice. The Richard I like Clap? It. I like it. I, be, I must oh, be tuning this, him out. It's certified. <laughs> <laughs> do you clap? I don't remember that. So these are the ones, remember, where the Parmesan crisps were like super huge? Yeah. Oh, big old disc. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what they are. Yay. Yeah. Look how we Look at the one survived. Oh, he, look at that. Hey, I told what? you. I said, oh, oh, okay. This is, see, look at this. Like, crisp as big as my head, basically. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So it is definitely right. darker oh, so bacon. bacon. So oh, it is darker the than the original crisp because that was just the yellow of Parmesan. Right. So clearly something else is going on in here. Lego. Here we go. Are they stale? No. Or is this the intended <laughs> texture? Flavor. I'm not really tasting bacon. Like, if, if someone gave these to me and said, what flavor are these? I would not say bacon. The texture is just like if, if they put like Parmesan cheese through like a really, like a small rice extruder. Yeah, rice. And okay, then they just made rice. little. Sprinkle a bacon bit dust on it. Yeah. I mean, I don't really even get bacon. Mm, these are tier three for me. Yeah, three I would, as well. I would say two. Okay, next, something I'm excited to try. These Genius Gourmet Keto Snack Chips. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen these on the internet for a long time. They're not necessarily new. They've been out for a while. We've just never had them because you can only get them on the internet. We ain't buying no chips on the internet. Okay. Hey, a barbecue flavor ice. Oh, wow. These are so weird looking. See, look. If you looked at the front, you would think, aren't these like a thin chip? Nothing what do Dorito. you think? Dorito, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, look at it. It's a... It's like oh. a puffy. It's almost like a pork rind. It's like a flattened yes, pork. Look how it's got thick that is. Yeah, that's what she said. But yes, I understand. It has a it has volume. Unique, unique yeah, texture. It has depth as well as depth. yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it is a really thick. It's not like a tortilla chip at all. Okay, let's go. What's it supposed to taste like? Barbecue, which it Barbecue. immediately does. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll taste that. That's, that's a barbecue a good, chip. That's a good chip. With a, uh, mm. like a guacamole, because it'll stand up to some mm -hmm. dip. That's a good barbecue dust. Yeah, yeah I mean, that is a classic. Yeah, thank you. 
That is the classic. If you bite into a barbecue chip, mm -hmm. you expect to taste that flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. The texture was a little like off-putting to look at, mm -hmm. but it's actually really good when you exactly. eat it. Like, you know, no shade. It was just like, it's not what you expect when you open it up. Mm, these are a tier two and a half for me. Mm -hmm. I like them, but I'm always going for something sweet. But still, um, like, I don't dislike this flavor at all. I would like, say two and a half as well. I would say two. I would mm. definitely eat those. Yes, okay. Fat Snacks mini uh -oh. chocolate chip cookies. Uh -oh. Like, we know Fat Snacks. We know Fat Snacks. We know mini chocolate chip cookies. Wasn't like, that Keto Palooza? Yeah. That? There were some Fat yeah, Snacks. They yeah, had, yeah. but see, those were like the regular size yeah. cookies. They came in the two pack. Right. These are mini cookies. So Ooh. good for them. I know, right? Let me guess. Chocolate chip. Yep, chocolate chip. It's traditional. I can, I can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> there were two in my, my hand, and mom was like, Can I take both of them? <laughs> yeah, take both of them, Christina. Jeez, you know what chocolate right, chip cookies are. Oh, my God. I think we nailed that. Okay. We nailed that okay, one. let's try oh, this. Chocolate look, chip love these look all like the mini chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. that we're used to seeing out exactly. here on the market, you know? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Tier two, tier one in flavor, tier two in, I'm not buying them off the internet, what but they're delicious. What you said. They remind me a lot of the hot key cookies, yes, exactly. like, yes, mm -hmm. and those are delicious, so, you know, mm. these, finally, exactly what I expected, oh you know, goodness. so, those nailed are pretty it. good. L yes, nailed it. Thank you, Fat Snacks. Next. All right. Oh. Keto Farms Cocoa Dusted Almonds. <gasps> so, no, what? right? These that are just almonds. Amazing. Dusted in cocoa. I think so, you're gonna love this. Yeah, so it's very you, Like you say, you do gravitate towards sweet. I do. Mm. Okay, so yeah, these are just regular almonds, but you can definitely tell there is some sort of dusting mm, on there. You can see the cocoa. Okay, let's go. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I already knew it. Yeah. I already knew it. That's already gone. I mean, just to be on the same. I mean, that's gone for sure. You can taste the cocoa, but oh, it's also sweet too. Like mm -hmm. it's not just cocoa. They oh, definitely yeah, it's put. Not that bitter. It's not mm -hmm. bitter. Or mm. I love it. Whoa. Mm. I'm not even a chocolate person. Mmm. Who are you? Well, Keto Farms. That's a good. That's a good combo. Keto Farms. Mm-hmm. Is that? Is that? That's it. Is you that, did um, the dog on fan right there. Those are good. Those are. That's good. a tier. That's a tier like two. Tier one in flavor. Like again. Just really, like, really good. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. But yeah. Tier two because you just wouldn't get. I'm them just not gonna. Yeah, but like those are delicious. When those are in stores. The best thing I've had today. So like yeah, yes, already. I, I would agree again. Mm -hmm. One in flavor. Okay. Two in convenience. Next, Keto and Co. Shortbread cookies. So we had to make these. It took a lot of butter, uh -oh. but yeah, let's see. I'll be back after these messages. Boo! I've been uh, over a yeah, hot no stove. Fun. I've been no. baking over a hot stove all You day. know, you could have only brought like Ooh. one or two of these. Oh you didn't gosh. have to bring all Basically. of them. Here's what <laughs> they look like on the box or on the bag, right? Here's what we made them look like in real life. Because you were supposed to roll the yeah, you're supposed to roll these out and do everything. No, we did get the color on them. Like they are yellow in the middle and brown on the edges. So we did do that, but like I'm not rolling them out and using no cookie cutters. I'm just not. Okay, but let's go ahead. Shortbread. Here we go. Let me see the inside of it too. Oh my god. It does have that classic shortbread texture. Luckily, before I put them back, I grabbed another one. Mm -mm. If these were as thin as the directions said to roll mm -hmm. them out, they would be a lot crispier. That was not nice. Roll so, with, <laughs> with coffee? Yeah. What? They're disintegrating coffee. Yes. Or them. on a trail anywhere. Oh no my this. gosh, y'all are the worst. Ah. Tier two, definitely. I like it. Cookie cake. I like it a lot. Cake cookie. Tier two. Okay, next. We are trying something I'm excited to try. The Perfect Keto <gasps> Keto Cookies. They make snickerdoodle. They make cookies. I don't know if you guys know, like, because the only thing I buy from them are their boxes of bars. You know, like, these They're are right the, yeah, yeah, like the bars. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But they've, they've been making cookies for a very long time. I've just never bought them. So I was excited to get them in the Keto Crate because it's like now we finally get to see them in real life. You know what I'm saying? Nice. It's like a two-pack. So Look these are that. very good-sized wow. cookies. Oh, like... This is an actual, yeah, like snickerdoodle um, type like cookie. A snickerdoodly. Yeah, it is very snickerdoodly. It looks soft. Okay, there you go. Okay, smells cinnamony. Okay, now I can smell go. it from here. Mm. Oh my god. Chewy. Mm -hmm. You know what mm. these will go great with? 
A trail. Milk. <laughs> a trail. They are cinnamony and delicious. At the end, you do get kind of an erythritoline mm -hmm. cooling effect, I kind of think. But these kind of, I wouldn't call these snickerdoodle to me. Do you know what they are? They're oatmeal raisin minus the raisin. Like, this is this is just what um. I could see that. Or I maple, like a that. maple flavor. Yeah. Or maple -y. It's not, because you know, snickerdoodles are lighter than this, I feel like, and they're more cinnamony. This is more like a molasses. Mm. Does this have molasses in it? Because I wouldn't be surprised if it had molasses in it. Mm. No. Okay, well, no molasses, but that's the vibe yeah. that we're getting. Yeah. You know, this kind of reminds me of the oatmeal cream pies. You can Ooh, put like, there you, yeah. go. you know, like so it's, it tastes like an oatmeal. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Thank you, right? That's so very oatmeal cream pie. that is a tier two for me. Yeah, you know, I think I would enjoy no, like, not, we're not disparaging it. I think I would <laughs> like uh, like a chocolate chip better or something like mm -hmm. that. But just you as like a cookie those. itself in terms of size and chew, mm -hmm. Uh, and and taste, yeah, definitely here too. You can put some, you know, like some Rebel or some ice cream too. and make your own little mini sandwich, mini sandwich, yeah, Ooh, because nice. these are hardy enough to do that. And finally, what I'm the most excited about. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Okay, we were done. Oh yeah! Look, it's a new one, Legendary uh, Foods Blueberry, I love blueberry. Toaster Pastry. Okay, I like love I, I was like, I don't even know how I'm gonna feel about this because I don't know how I feel about blueberry things, but I know I'm gonna love it because it's a legendary toaster pastry. One of my they favorite are so fruits. Good. They are so good. I love anything blueberry. So pies, cakes. Okay. Muffins. Oh, they're okay. There is just a hump Ooh, in there. I will oh, take that hump. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I like absolutely that. love the sprinkles. I love everything about Aww. this. Like, I've already talked about how much I love the toaster pastries. I love how chewy they are. I think so, are the magical fruit. No, those are beans. Okay. Um, yeah, these look great. They're uh, they're chewier than regular pop tarts, pop -tarts but they are delicious. Here, the blueberry filling oh. does have the the faint color of oh, blue. Yes. Okay, let's go. Mm. So good. All I that love, fruit. I love the chew of this. That's thing. good. Okay. Uh, me too. I love the chew. All right. Mm. It's just there. the blueberry flavor is good. It's soft, but Whereas chewy. a pop tart is more of a crumbly. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. This is way softer, and mm -hmm. I'm really a fan of this. Thank you, Legendary Food. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely a one. Oh my god! Bought them before, so we'll buy them again. Buy them again, <laughs> Lord. Um, my God, that's like the first fruit, like sweet thing I've ever seen him eat completely all of. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's the first thing that he's ever eaten more of than us. So right, exactly. Look it's at beautiful. that. That's probably one of my favorite keto snacks, mm -hmm. just in terms of all the elements together, right? Mm -hmm. So, and whereas it's unlike anything else out there. You know, it's not a cookie, it's not a bar, exactly. it's not, you know, like, that is the only one of its kind out there, and it is delicious. And it would go great with coffee. No, shut up! You can put a lot of those on the trail with you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get on my nerves, okay. But do you know who doesn't get on my nerves? Who? The person that is going to get to try all the items in this keto crate for free this month and that person is oh my gosh like wow. try the legendary pastries okay um everything else was good don't get me wrong there was some like random tasting stuff in there fat snacks was good fat snacks was good the keto cookie was good yeah these, the, these cookies the winner great. the winner for me were the cocoa almonds like oh. those were just really tasty. The um, cocoa dusted almonds were really good. And I, I went mean, ahead and finished them off. The winner for me, of course. No, I mean that was <laughs> good. Absolutely. Yeah, winner. that was but really good. The B team, I, I really did like the, the bacon bits. Honestly, the meat sticks weren't that bad There's because of the like last place this. or close to last. Yeah, place. definitely close to last place. Last place. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of like the Parmesan rice. Yeah, I wasn't you either. know, oh, like crisp. Like so there was, I think there was a good balance. First of all. Good balance of things that I've never heard of. Yes. Good balance of things that I have heard of and actively been wanting to try. Oh. Uh, and then things that I already knew that I would love. Like sure. that's what I love about the Keto Crate is that it always delivers something in them categories. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So um, so overall, this was a great crate. Once yes, again, email me at watchautumnketo at gmail.com to get your crate. Or like I said, just click the link in the description box below to go ahead and snag your very own crate. Okay, well, that's all for us. We're going to go finish all these uh, snacks, <laughs> and we'll talk to you next month. Bye. Goodbye, all. Are we smacking? Yeah. No. Uh-uh, be quiet. Oh, so cool. I'm just saying, this is so good. So I'm going to take the chili herbal. Yeah. Chili, chili, chili herbal. Like, yeah. Two thousand years I'm later. I'm just saying, this was good.
Yeah. I know that was that tasty. was legendary. And a pastry. Oh, we're going Big old to go crispy. <laughs> oh, crispy head. Well, so go put them know. back. Oh, we, this, okay, this shows you how many the package makes. Yes. You're welcome. This, okay, you can have that. Ooh, yeah. What are we doing with this? You can have that. Oh, there's only two of them in here. <laughs> two of them. <laughs> These are dry roasted pumpkin seeds. Up. Oh, second ingredient. Maple sugar. I smell the, the fresh meat. No, you don't. Two, two, and we're not mm -hmm. buying those off the internet because my wife. What? You ain't buying them either. 